Hello, my name is Alyssa. I'm a nursing student at Lenore Ryan. Is it okay with you if I do an abdominal assessment on you today? Yes. All right, so have you had any pain or any issues with your abdomen or any history of pain or issues? No. All right, have you had any abdominal surgeries? Nope. All right, so first I'm just going to take a look um, at your movement. Um, I can see respirations. I don't see any palpations or parasolic waves, which is completely normal. You can't really see that in people. Um, so next, I'm going to take a look at your contour. Um, you look like you have a flat shape and your um, stomach contour is symmetrical, which is good. Next, I'm going to take a look at your skin. You look like you have a nice light pink color. Um, I don't see any abnormalities, just a couple of moles, which is completely normal. And next, I'm going to check your umbilicus, which is your belly button. And it appears to be um, midline vertically and horizontally. Um, it is inverted and I don't see any abnormalities there or any umbilical herniations. Um, next, I'm gonna take a look at your muscles. So if you could just pick up your head for me. All right, I'm gonna check your rectus, your inguinal and your femoral, and I don't see any herniations there, which is good. Um, next, I'm going to auscultate your um, stomach just to listen to your sounds. So I'm gonna start in the right lower quadrant All right, so I heard about seven bowel sounds in a minute. Um, I heard the gurgling sounds and they were high pitched, which is completely normal and I didn't hear any abnormalities there. Um, next, I'm gonna take a listen for um, bruise and I'm just going to check your aortic, your renal, your iliac and your femoral. I'm going to come this way to check your femoral. All right. And I didn't hear anything there, so that is completely normal. No abnormalities. Um, next, I am going to percuss your stomach. Just listen to what it sounds like. All right, so I don't hear any abnormalities there. I hear tympanic sounds over the air and dull sounds over your organs, which is completely normal. Um, next, I'm just going to percuss your gastric um, air bubble right along this midline. And that sounds hollow all the way across, which is normal. Next, I'm going to percuss your um, spleen. So I'm just gonna walk my fingers down to your ninth um, through 11th intercostal space. And I hear a dull sound over your spleen, which is completely normal. Um, next, I'm going to palpate. So I'm gonna start with light palpation. So just let me know if you feel any tenderness. Nope. 
Any tenderness in the lower right quadrant? Mm -mm. Any tenderness in the upper right quadrant? Any tenderness in the upper left quadrant? No. Any tenderness in the um, lower left quadrant? No. Okay, so I forgot to um, percuss your liver. So I'm gonna go back and do that right quick. Luckily, I haven't done any deep palpation, so hopefully we can still hear everything. So I'm gonna start at your fifth intercostal space and work my way down. All righty. And then I'm gonna work my way up from the bottom. All right, so your the diameter of your liver is about six centimeters, which is completely normal because the mean diameter is um, six to 12 centimeters. So to continue on with my palpations, um, I'm going to now do deep palpations. Um, with your light palpations, um, you didn't have any tenderness and I didn't feel um, any, starts with an M, give me a second. Masses. Okay, so now I'm going to deep palpate. So I'm just going to do a dipping motion. Any tenderness there? Any tenderness there? Any tenderness there? Any tenderness there? All right, so no tenderness, didn't feel any um, masses, no abnormalities there. So next I'm going to palpate your spleen. So if you could take a big deep breath in for me. All right, and I can't feel your spleen, which is good. That means it's not enlarged. Um, did you feel any pain there? All right, so next I'm just going to check your right kidney. So if you could take a big deep breath in for me. All right, do you feel any pain there? All right, I can't feel your right kidney, which is completely normal. Take another big deep breath in for me. All right, any pain there? All right, I couldn't feel your left kidney, which is completely normal again. So take one more deep breath for me. I'm gonna check your liver. Any pain there? All right, and your liver feels normal. So that completes my assessment for today. Is there anything else I can help you with? All right, have a great day. Thanks. Did I miss anything? Hey, Ms. D4, my name's Madison. I'm gonna be your nurse today, and we're gonna start by doing an abdominal assessment. Okay. So I'm gonna wash my hands, put on gloves, and provide privacy. Do you mind if I just ask you a few questions to start? No. Okay. Do you have a history of GERD or peptic ulcer disease? No. Um, have you ever had liver disease or recent nausea or vomiting? No. Have you had a change in bowel movement or urination? No. Um, how many cigarettes do you have a day? I don't smoke. Okay, and how many alcoholic beverages do you have a day? I don't drink. Okay. Um, do you um, exercise any? I do, a little bit. Okay. I try. Okay. Um, and then, what can you tell me a little bit about your diet? I mean, I eat three days meal, three meals a day, but mm, that's only a good thing. <laughs> okay, well that's good. Um, do you have any uh, tattoos or piercing? I have my ears pierced. Okay, have you ever had a blood transfusion? No. Or do you have do you use IV drug use? No. Okay, good. Uh, do you take any antacids or proton pump inhibitors? No. Do you take any laxatives or stimulants? I do not. And lastly, do you take any antibiotics due to H. pylori? No. Okay. So I'm going to start my assessment now. I'm just going to lift your gown up. Okay, just to your stomach. So I'm going to start by inspection. I'm inspecting the shape, which is flat. Um, inspecting musculature and it's symmetry or symmetric. Um, inspecting the color, which is appropriate for race. Um, inspecting for any pulsations or visible peristalsis. Inspecting for masses or nodules and inspection for um, any accessory muscle movements. 
respiratory muscle movement. And that is all, she has none of that. So now I'm going to start by auscultation. I'm going to start in the right lower quadrant, go to the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, and then left lower quadrant. And um, my patient has normal active bowel sound. So now I'm going to auscultate the aorta with the bowel and the diaphragm. And there was no bruise present. So now I'm going to um, auscultate for venous hum with just the bell. And she does not have um, a venous hum, which would be indicative of cirrhosis, or she doesn't have a thrill either. So now I'm going to um, percuss, starting at the right lower, then going to right upper, left upper quadrant, and then left lower quadrant. And hers was tympanic in all four quadrants, which is normal. So now I'm going to do percussion of the liver span. Starting at the right lower quadrant, um, it should be tympanic, and then as I go up, it'll turn dull, which will be the lower um, edge of the liver. And I keep going up from dullness to tympanic would be the upper, and I'm going to measure um, the difference. Good. And as I get into the um, rib section, I palpate in between the intercostals. Okay. and her liver spans about seven centimeters. Um, so now I'm going to uh, palpate, and I'm gonna start by live palpation to see if there's any masses, nodules, or any abnormalities filled. And just tell me if you feel any pain. And I'm gonna start in the right, I know I just did that, but I'm gonna start in the right lower part. Okay, and there was no abnormalities felt. So now I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and just tell me if you feel any pain or tenderness during those two. Okay. No. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna start by Murphy's sign and this is gonna be testing for cholecystitis. So just tell me if you feel any pain while I'm, can you breathe in for me? No. Any pain? Okay. So she has a negative Murphy's test. And now I'm gonna do the rebound tenderness test at the McBurney's point, which is right here. And I'm going to, um, just tell me if you feel more pain going in or out. Okay. Going in. Going in. Okay, so this is a test for appendicitis. Uh, yes, and if she would have had pain going out, then that would be a possible in an indication of appendicitis. Appendicitis, my bad. So now I'm going to do um, the obturator's test. Okay, and just go out and in. Any pain? No. Okay, and that is a appendicitis test also, which she is a negative obturator's um, test. And for shifting donuts, I would do this on a patient that would potent that I would think potentially had fluid in their stomach, which she does not, but we'll still go through the process. So I'm going to percuss. And it should be tympanic in the beginning. And then when I get to her side, it should turn to dullness because that would be fluid. Then I ask the patient to turn on the left side. And I'm going to percuss again. And um, her side and all of this should be tympanic again. But when I get down to the lower, it should be dull because all this fluid has shifted there. Sit over there. Okay. And I'm gonna keep my patient on the side and then we're gonna do the Paseas um, test and just Back your foot. Do you feel any pain with that? No. Okay, good. You can lay down. So she has a negative Paseo sign, which is also a test for appendicitis. And now we're going to, um, I'm just going to ask you to sit up and we're going to percuss your kidneys. So I'm going to percuss them um, at the bottom of the costo 
um, vertical line and I'm going to put my hand down and um, blunt percuss my hand or the kidneys. And just tell me if you feel any pain. No. Okay. No. Okay. So lastly, I'm going to, you can lay down for me, measure her abdominal girth at the umbilicus. Okay. And hers is about 78 centimeters. And that concludes my abdominal assessment.